Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, one of the first things you have to consider before you even think about buying plants or planting from seed, one thing you have to understand is that planting from seed is not just a matter of dropping some seeds in the ground, throwing some water, a little fertilizer, and that's it. It requires a lot more than that. So what you want to do is you want to consider what type of soil you have. I want to introduce you to our hard-working uh, person that's doing this is uh, Tony. Say hello, Tony. Hello, sorry. I'm, I'm deeply involved in this. I'm trying to get some of this compost spread on the ground so we can plant some of our vegetables we got over here. So we've got some vegetables already planted, but now here what we're looking at is um, some purple cabbage. Uh, we've got some steak tomatoes, uh, red bells, and uh, also we have uh, a couple of other things. Uh, we're also going to be planting some cucumbers, squash, as well as some apricot trees and some avocado trees. These are the Southern California avocado trees, the Blenheim apricot gem avocado in the back as well as uh, we have some Orchard Springs Dark Saturn Donut Peaches. If you've ever had a peach, a sweet peach, this is the peach. I want you to take a look at that. It's what we'll be planting. We also are going to be planting some Royal Crimson Cherry Trees. Now something I want you to understand is that it's very important. Your soil is important. We're going to talk to you about that. But we just want to give you an idea of why it's important to plant your own food. Of course, everyone has a lemon tree. But the taste of the lemons is what matters. How do those lemons taste? And that has a lot to do with your fertilization. And here we have, uh, we are growing some nectarines. And... Over here, we have kumquats. These kumquats are so sweet, it's like eating candy. We also have down here oranges and we have grapefruit. On the side of the oranges, we also have figs. We have uh, limes and other oranges on the other side. So you saw the pictures of how it looked when we first got here. It was a jungle. And it took us five, cutting it back five times because every time that it rained, they grew right back. So we had to actually pull things out. So what we did was we had some people come in and pull out these ornamental trees. We had a lot of beautiful ornamental trees, but they were not producing any food. Uh, and so if it's not producing food, it's not worth keeping to us. Little ornamental is okay, but right here you're looking at a persimmon tree, which has a wonderful persimmons. So the way things are going in the world today, if you don't know how to plant your own food, you're probably going to starve. I don't mean to be negative, but you know, any any critical thinker can see what's going on. So if you can, plant you some raised beds. And uh, right now I'm just going to be silent and let you uh, get an idea of what's been done here. Uh, these are our collards. Uh, we just had a great big peach tree removed, and so it kind of some of it fell on the collards, but they'll be okay. We'll get them back up to speed. These are called collard green trees, and they will be nourished back to health so they can be ripe for food.